what's so great about Cynthia um, and, and our, our writing team's writing is that they still retain the character's core and, their, and Elena's moral integrity throughout, but she's definitely different. She's definitely, you know, I felt like seasons one and two, she was sort of torn between John Ross and Christopher and always sort of, um, I, I mean, I joke that Elena had a halo and that halo is definitely gone in season three. And there are things that are pushing her, and there are things that are driving her to butt heads with the Ewings. And that's been really, really fun to play. So this has been by far the most fun season for me. Do you feel like her allegiance right now is is really, truly with Cliff? Or is that more of a, she's using him for, as a means to an end, but she still is drawn to the Ewings? I think she's always going to be drawn to the Ewings, because there's so much history there. Um, I think she's not, she's a very smart girl, so she knows what Cliff's about, and Cliff's a <laughs> so, I think, um, I think she never loses sight of that, despite mm -hmm. the fact that she knows he's a means to an end, so, um, I'm not sure, I think that allegiance is not, it's, it's, um, essential right now. Is there like a breaking point though for her where she might say, you know what, this is going too far. Maybe I should dial it back. Maybe my feelings for the Ewings are getting in the way. Breaking points, and that's what's been so dynamic about this season is that <clears throat> she kind of goes back and forth and you know questions herself and um, and I think that's more indicative of what humans are like. You know, we go through things and we're like, what the hell am I doing? And you know, I thought this person was my friend and. You know, I, I thought I was this kind of person, and now I'm not this kind of person, and, and that's what Elena's going through, and so she's definitely going through a transformation. Mm -hmm. I, I think she does she does question herself a lot, um, and that's what makes it really interesting to play and, and to watch, hopefully. Can you talk a little bit about uh, Jean Paulo coming in and what that does to the, the dynamic in you and Global, but also just for Elena in general? playing off this this character that she's known forever, but we're just getting to meet. He's been, I mean, I, I love Juan Pablo, and he's been really fun to work with, and um, I'm not sure what it does. It's always fun having an outsider um, that's not a Ewing, and it's, it's it, I mean, I'm not sure what it does as far as, he just feels like an insider at this point, because we're, in, we're, in, we're shooting episode 13, so now it just feels like it's part of the, the family. But he definitely adds a new dynamic to the to the show, and um, he's really good. Was there anything that you guys worked on because your characters have such a history that you kind of wanted to work in, like little no, inside luckily, things? No, you always hope you get along with someone, because mm -hmm. um, it's really hard to, if you don't get along with an actor and you're playing either lovers or childhood friends or both, in Elena's case, as is often the case with Elena <laughs> for some weird reason, um, which I've discussed with the writers um, and tried to figure out, which I haven't yet. Um, but with Juan Pablo, we got along instantly, so that chemistry was there, and so we didn't have to sort of, you know, fake anything, which is great. So I think everything she does in her mind is justified. So she's definitely not evil. But she's evil. She's definitely scheming, but rightly so. I mean, it's been years that she's been screwed by the Ewing, so it's about time. I mean. <laughs> Do you feel like she and Pamela have kind of switched, though, this season, in the sense that, like, Pamela's being so accepted into the family, and now Elena's the one that's actively scheming, and even in that, in the premiere, you know, that scene where she walks and the women are around the table, and everyone kind of turns and looks at Elena like, oh, you're here. It felt right. like there's a distance. It did feel like she was an outsider. Yeah, I think they have, the tables have turned. Definitely. And I'm just waiting. I would love to join forces with Pamela. I think mm. that would be really, really fun.